Atlanta Business Chronicles Biz. Sponsored by Georgia Power and Go Beyond Profit. Good morning and thanks for joining us. We begin with the latest on the Gulch redevelopment. The Atlanta City Council and the city's Board of Education have reached a funding deal on the $5 billion Gulch overhaul. The agreement involves concessions on both sides. For instance, APS will continue to participate in the Westside Tax Allocation District through 2038. In return, the city will reimburse $10 million in education and infrastructure costs APS incurs, plus an additional $5 million. The agreement frees up the bond portion of the nearly $2 billion in public financing that will go to the massive mixed-use project near State Farm Arena. Selig Enterprises is moving forward with the Upper West Side development, adding new tenants to help fill 80 acres of former warehouse space. Selig has signed on Scofla Brewing Company and plans 30 vendors in a new food hall. They'll help occupy what will be a 1 million square foot development called The Works. Over the past few decades, Selig has been buying up industrial buildings along Chattahoochee Avenue. It began renovating them in 2017. When it's all said and done, Selig could invest a billion dollars in the project, blending designers, retailers, and restaurants with office, residential, and possibly a hotel. Responsive Surface Technology, an Atlanta-based smart bed and sleep tech company, has raised $3 million. It'll use the funds to open its first company-owned store in West Midtown. Its main product is the Rest Bed. The company says it senses your position and automatically adjusts throughout the night. After nearly a decade at Georgia Tech, the university's president, GP Bud Peterson, will retire this summer. During his tenure, Georgia Tech saw increased enrollment and a rise in research dollars. The school's Midtown campus has expanded around Technology Square and attracted business innovation centers, promoting collaboration between researchers and industry. The university system will conduct a national search for Peterson's replacement. Last year's gubernatorial race set a new record for statewide campaign fundraising. Republican Brian Kemp raised about $22 million through December. The Georgia Government Transparency and Campaign Finance Commission reports that was $5 million less than his competitor, Democrat Stacey Abrams. Her campaign war chest had $27 million in it. Even before voters cast their ballots in November, both Kemp and Abrams had raised more money than outgoing Governor Nathan Deal had when he won his second term in office back in 2014. 